My name is Mr. Urban. And hello, my name is Mr. Doss. And welcome back to Season 5, Episode 2 of Laugh to Get Wesley. Double digit thousand. Yes. Today we have some mass safety interviews for you guys today to show how you really are supposed to wear your mask in the hallways. And what happens if you don't. This reminder gave you a good amount of why you should wear your mask. Next up, we have part two of athletics. We fall sports are coming to an end and winter sports are about to begin. So make sure you come watch a couple of our games if you can and cheer on the awesome Wildcats who are participating in fall sports. We're so proud of you guys. Hi, I'm Gus. I'm here with Mrs. Jackson. And how's the dance team doing? Pretty good, pretty good. We had our first little performance at middle school night at, at North Central last weekend, and they did it really well. That's nice. Uh, who's your favorite dancer? Oh, that's a horrible question. I don't have a favorite right now because we haven't finished working on competition work. I'll let you know in about two weeks. Okay. Do you have any upcoming performances? Um, we don't have one really on the books until our first home game for basketball. It's not until December. But maybe, fingers crossed, we can dance at an awakening. Okay, thank you. So what's your name? Carson. Uh, you on the dance team? Yes. How's it going? It's going good. Um, we have some dances in mind that we have actually came up with. Um, our coach is Maya, and she is a very good uh, co-captain. And she's a very good person on the dance team. How are you doing personally? Personally, I am doing great. Um, even though my grades are not the best, I'm doing great. Yeah, who, who you think the best dancer is? Hi, I'm, I'm Khalif and I'm here with... Miss Marble. How's your team improved? Well, most of the team has never played tennis before and this was their first time playing and they've all improved tremendously throughout the whole season. Uh, how do you think your team is doing? Doing? They're doing okay. Uh, we just finished our season and uh, we got a couple wins at our tournament at the MIC this weekend. So. Why do you think your, needs, your team needs to improve? Um, sir, so we've been double faulting a lot, but they're getting better, so. Hello, Mr. What's your name again? Parker. So, how was the tennis season this year? Uh, I guess it was, it was fun, it was, but I'm like, we had some really good players and all, but yeah. Uh, how many matches did you win? Matches? Like three. Okay. Good. Hi, my name is Coleman Weaver, and I'm here with Miss Smith, and we're here to talk about the girls' volleyball team. Miss Smith, how is your team doing this season? Um, so right now we're currently four and six, but our record doesn't really reflect how we've been playing. We've had a lot of close games. Last night we played Random Park, and we went into three super close sets. Um, and then on Monday we played Eastwood, and we did really well against them as well. Yeah. What is your team doing best at this season? Um, I would say we're doing a lot better at communicating with each other and we've had more energy in recent games. We've really gotten or improved at bumping and setting and we've just learned how to block as well. Nice. What does your team need to improve at? Um, we just need to stay positive throughout the game when we get down in a set. 
Um, I think that's our biggest issue. Um, but other than that, I would say there's always an area of improvement. Um, but we just need to stay positive throughout our games. Hi, my name is Coleman Weaver, and I'm here with Jordan. And we're here to talk about this season's volleyball team. Jordan, how are you doing as an individual? Uh, well, I think I'm doing pretty well because this is my um, third year playing volleyball. Um, and this is my first year playing for the school because I'm seventh grader. Great. How is your team doing as a whole? Um, this is a lot of my team's first year playing, so I think we're doing pretty well for their first year to be playing volleyball. Nice. And what is your goal by the end of the season? Um, I think that I want a lot of my team members to be able to recognize how to grow and how to listen. I mean, not how to listen, but like how to grow, how to learn how to grow. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so what's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Coach Rogers. All right, so how's the Coach Project team one? Uh, the team is uh, looking very good. We've had uh, personal records set by everyone at this point. And I might add, uh, under circumstances, heat and humidity that are not runner friendly. Um, we've got a number of boys that are doing outstanding. We've got uh, Gus Phillips is our top runner. And he is putting up some of the best times we've ever had recorded here at West Lane. All right, so what, what do you have next? Okay, next, uh, we, we have look at our county meet. Uh, we have our county championship on Saturday at Speedway High School. Then after that, we have our district uh, championship at North Central with uh, Eastwood and North Duke. So our two biggest meets are coming up, and we hope the weather uh, cooperates for us. Again, we've got a great group of runners all the way. I, I mention names. I always hate to mention names because I don't want to miss anybody. But everybody from top to bottom has shown improvement. And we look forward to some personal records this weekend. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Coleman Weaver, and I'm here with... Gus. And we're here to talk about this season's cross-country team. Gus, how are you doing as an individual this season? And as an individual, I'm doing well. I've gotten first every race except for one race where I got second. Good. How is your team doing as a whole? Our team is doing okay. We have two runners who are close to breaking 12 minutes, and we have some good sixth grade runners this year. Nice. What is your goal by the end of the season? My goal by the end of the season is to break the West Lane record, which I got one second off of at the West Lane Roundup. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Miss, Mr. Irving for showing them about the athletics. Now then, our last and not least final segment, we have safe interviews with Nia Douglas, Lily Papish, Adler Preddy, and Miss Courtney. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Imani and I'm here with Lily. Um, and we're gonna talk about safe. So what is safe? Safe is basically just a student uh, voice and led committee at our school, helping with all the problems in our school and our community. Hi, I'm here with Nia Douglas. What do you think about SAFE so far? Um, I think that SAFE is going really well. We have a lot of passionate young people and they really want to get their work done and they really want to meet, so I think it's great. We need more people of color though, that's my opinion. But, so, yeah. Hi, I'm Elise, I'm with Adler and I'm SAFE for this. Uh, what are your goals for SAFE? Um, I want to make a community in SAFE and then expand our community to the whole school just so everybody can feel safer and be safer in general and just cut back on all the negativity in the school. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christopher and I'm here with Ms. Courtney. Uh, what is the mission of SAFE? SAFE is the Student Alliance for Equity and their mission is really to get student voice out there. It's for students to get their opinions heard, their thoughts, get their feelings on like how this community of West Lane is going. And then really the biggest part of our mission is to create solutions, to like get involved in these issues you all are finding and fix it so we have the community we want.
thank you SAFE guys. You are very helpful and I encourage all of you to come to a SAFE meeting. They are every other Tuesday, as we forgot to mention. And the students there are amazing people and always want to help others. Make sure to wear your mask right, Wildcats, and stay safe. Have a wonderful day.